Hello everyone and before we start doing anything with this graphic card and today I was thinking doing a little bit experiment uh, which I'll explain you in a in a little bit I, I'm sorry for a lot a little bit um, but I want to tell you what I decided to do recently well the whole story starts from one of my subscribers who also sent me a card for repair he suggested me open up a patreon page well, I also have never heard about it. But after thinking a while, and also from what I see, YouTube refuses paying me for my videos, uh, I decided to open it up. Well, uh, what is this whole story about? Uh, it's one of the ways how we can support YouTube creators, sir. Uh, in my case, it's uh, the only one way. I'll leave a uh, uh, link below the video. Once you have a time, please check it out. Um, where your support will go to. First of all, it will help me find more time for making more videos and uh, not just on the graphic cards, I wanted to do as well a desktop motherboard repairs. It will help my... Uh, it will help cover my suspenses as a flux, or, uh, solder, um, reboiling bowls, anti-static napkins or, and so on so on, alcohol. It will help me improve channel in general. Like for instance, uh, I wanted to buy a new camera holder. I know I got a lot of complaints that you can't really see sometimes what I do, but believe me or not, that pisses me off not less than you. Uh, but I can't really put this pile of books close to me. Here is no pushing. No matter what, I'll try do my job and uh, thank you in advance. And coming back to our experiment, I've been thinking, uh, making a video is it really worth buying broken graphic cards from eBay and fixing them? Whew, uh, this card I bought about three weeks ago and I paid... Uh, what did I pay? A hundred or ninety? Something around that. Now, probably you can find a bit cheaper, but talking about used ones in a working condition, uh, they go from $220 and up. Uh, it all depends on the condition, uh, does it come with the box, documents and so on and so on. Brand new ones, they go from $350 and up. I stop on this graphic card because just check it out, that's actually a very beast card. Talking about cooling system, we will open it up and have a look, but I love when there is a perfect cooling system, it has a three fans. Uh, uh, talking about memory, that's a 8 gigabyte memory and it has a 512 bit. Uh, talking about our core clock, it has a 1055 MHz, basically we can overclock it to our beautiful 1100s. That's a decent based car. This card was sold as uh, doesn't want to do anything. Let's just uh, confirm it, our postcode started running and doesn't bypass our bias postcode. From what I can tell, our chip is not getting hot, and uh, yeah, fan's not spinning. There is no detection at all. Alright, and as always, let's start from our chip. And on the chip we have a zero, let's go to our memory, same thing, let's go to our, let me just see, let's go to our PCI, slide, uh, PCI, power to our PCI and we have a zero. Mm. Next we will see our memory controller and some millivolts go through. Uh, <laughs> then. Uh, Let's see if we have our 12, for our 12, 5 and a 3.3 volts. Uh, let's see first if we have our uh, 12 volts from uh, both those uh, PCI connectors. Uh, on the first uh, PCI connector we have our 12 volts and on the second we also do have it. Uh, let's go down to our 5 volts and we have a 0. Those 5 volts base actually <coughs> form our 12 volts from our PCI slot and let's see if we have our 12 volts from a PCI. 
and just some mil volts go through. So we won't have all the 12 volts on this fuse either, and uh, that's uh, coming to that we have to go to our resistance mode and let's see, uh, let's check it out this uh, our 12 volts from a PCI Express slot. First of all, let's see what we have on our fuse, and we have a straight burn now. Now let's see what resistance we have on our 12 volt from PCI Express, and we have a. Sh okay, that's not a short. That's 72, 72 ohms. Mhm. Mm I actually already know what the problem on this graphic card. Um, Let's just have a closer look. Now we can see our power circuit is built on the 3553M uh, so-called crescent, crescent, I'm sorry for my accent, DR MOSFETs. Um, the reason why they have a name like that because uh, how we can see our contact pad has a place for more powerful DR MOSFETs uh, and actually I've seen only one 390 graphic card where instead of our 3553M uh, were soldered 3550 uh, I believe I don't really remember um, yeah those 3550 they are way more powerful but how I said I've seen only one graphic card like that probably it was like a engineering sample uh, but talking about our 3553M and that's where we have a problem right now the only thing is uh, actually, l l let me zoom up and show you a bit closer how they look like the only thing is uh, we have a problem on our memory controller phase uh, well we won't be able to confirm our problem uh, put a 12 volt and see where whether it hits up because uh, our top shoulder is broke off and those 12 volt will eventually go to our chip and just kill it and one volt will, won't help because uh, yeah with this current we, we won't be able to feel anything so right now let's uh, uh, replace the uh, take our our DRMOS and see if we have any differences we won't be able to have any issues with that because they're pretty easy to unsolder um, yeah we just have to use our heat gun
let's see how lucky we are today on our 12 volt phase. Mm, yep, we have kilo ohms and our memory controller is in the range of normal. Love it. Our video card, boom. Our plus card, finish. And uh, let's also prepare our multimeter. I always like having a multimeter next to me. And let's see. To A, bypass that, boom. This card, I already played a couple of games with it uh, for a couple hours. And um, yeah, how we can see here, driver is installed perfectly fine. I ran also a stress test, and so far, no issues were found. Um, I like this card, it's quiet and uh, very smooth. Uh, so, please if subscribe, put likes, dislikes, and uh, put your comments below. Thank you, bye.